Nice to have you with us. Spent a good amount of time in New York City. College, grad school. Yeah. 
And then I lived here in yeah. Harlem after that. Born and raised in Washington, D.C., Paul began her acting career here in New York City. I also used to practice my um, acting with my acting partners in school, like outside on the street. This is kind of where it started. This is where it started. Only after earning a master's degree in journalism from New York University. What is it about journalism that's so interesting? I was in school and I read a book that's called Democracy in America. Yes. Yeah. And that, that book really resonated with me that if you do not have the press, if you do not have journalism or free press, then you cannot maintain democracy. Yeah. So how did you get from I got a master's degree mm -hmm. in journalism mm -hmm. to the media mm -hmm. Where did that turn come? My father passed away suddenly in my first um, in my first trimester uh, at NYU. And I had a friend who, you know, it was like if you need to earn some extra money, you could do commercials. And that's how I was introduced to it. But my father's death, um, I was young, you know, I was, you know, 23. And so it was um, sobering and, and painful. Um, but it, it sort of redirected um, my journey. I think we have to dance. Museum in New York for hosting our conversation. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Regina Hall, including much more on those Academy Awards. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new conversation with the woman behind one of the most famous faces in the world, model and designer Gigi Hadid, on her latest project, and a life lived in the flashing bulbs. Gigi Hadid, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check of your local Sunday weather. Hey everyone, if you have plans today, here's what you need to know. We are looking at temperatures rising into the upper 80s. It's going to be hot, near 90 degrees out there for some of us. A good amount of sunshine breaking through the cloud coverage for your Sunday. Tomorrow, Labor Day, we have uh, rain chances in the forecast. And showers and thunderstorms are possible, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. You can kind of see that the storm team for radar dry right now, but the rain and storms are moving. More on that coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including an update on the young ball player we told you about a couple of weeks ago who suffered a very scary injury at the Little League World Series. We will check in on our man Easton. But up next, Harry Smith spends some time with members of the greatest generation as one veteran from Iowa captures their faces and their stories for history. We're back in just 30 seconds.